Hi there, I'm Black Bride. Welcome to my channel. And if it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to click the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Or, hmm, I don't really want you to click the thumbs down, but um, you can subscribe, you can share. And for my existing subscribers, thank you for your support and your questions and your, yeah, your feedback. Um, today I wanted to talk about that black film, Blue Story, produced by Andrew Onrubolu. Um, it's a gang-related film. And on Friday, in Birmingham, two fights broke out, not far apart from each other. The first fight broke out was in front of the View Cinema, and it was among the... Um, the women, a couple of women who were waiting to see Frozen 2. So it had nothing to do with um, the Blue Story film. Some women were waiting in line to see Frozen 2, fight broke out, and next thing you know, um, the police was called. Uh, then, later on, in the view in the film, I believe it's a film, but they say in the cinema, another fight broke out with two youths. So, um, what the view then decided was they were going to ban it from every single cinema in the country. Claiming it's inciting violence, claiming that they need to secure their patrons, their customers. Now, what a load of bull. Can you imagine all out of all the violent films that they show day in, day out, they choose this particular film to ban all over the country. Now, people are saying it is racist. They're saying it's because it's a black film produced by a black director. And if it was a white director, they wouldn't have banned it. Because they're referring to Joker, which is also a violent film. They refer to Batman in 2012, where he actually in the cinema, 12 people were shot. And they didn't ban that film. So why would they ban this film. I would really appreciate your comments because I can understand if it was, you know, if there were knives involved, if it was a mass, you know, like a massacre. But even then, it would relate to that particular area. It wouldn't relate to the whole country. Why ban it over the whole country? And apparently, View Cinema, V U E, and Showcase Cinema are the two cinemas who stopped all their chains from showing it and demanded, I believe, for the, all of the cinemas to stop showing it. Although now um, I received a petition to sign today. That's what drew my attention to it. I received a petition today to sign. It was put on by change.org and they were seeking 25,000 signatures to get the film reinstated. And when I got it, there was about 24,463 signatures. So I signed it and I thought, well, let me just look up to have a look at the background because I didn't know anything about it. But when I looked up the background, the, the film has actually been reinstated now. So it's back in the cinemas, although View Cinemas and Showcase Cinemas are apparently saying they're not going to show it without increased security. I'm not quite sure what increased security looks like. I don't know if it means bodyguards. I don't know if they're going to call the police in. But I doubt very much if the police are going to come and turn up at a cinema waiting for something to happen. That would be a complete waste of their time and money. So I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to have those... Um, those systems in place that check whether or not you have guns or whatever, which isn't a bad idea. You know, I'm all for that. But I think it's a bit of an overreaction to a film that just because it's black and it's gang related, um, they, are, they, they decided to pull the plug on it. Albeit that it's been put back. The fact of the matter is that they felt they had the right to do it in the first place, which in itself is a bit... Um, suspect. I can't think of a right word for that. I don't, I can't understand why they would do that. I mean, when you think every single film these days is so violent, and I haven't seen this film, I don't know how violent it is, but I do know it's about two young boys in London. Um, they were friends at one point, I believe, and then they became street rivals. 
and then it's supposed to be a love a love story apparently although what well, who am i to say any different and it's supposed to have a positive message so apparently people who have seen it say it's an excellent film it's an incredible film so you know and i'm sure it is but the fact of the matter is why i'm doing this video is because i wanted your thoughts on as to why you think no and not why you think but do you think that view um were justified in pulling the plug on this film the blue story or do you think they're justified because those two fights broke out i mean bearing in mind that they weren't violent from what i can hear bearing in mind that the police west midlands police did not ask them to pull the film did not show any concern so it's purely based on the cinema itself feeling worried that because it's a black film and because it's violent they feel the need to pull it so is white violence different from black violence is that what they're saying are they saying that black violence is more violent than white violence i mean or black violence is more likely to incite violence than white violence is i'm not quite sure what the message is i'm not quite sure what they're trying to say because it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me at all um apparently joker like i said um is a really violent film and i mean when you think of, i mean i don't even half of the films i run out of them anyway because the 90 percent of the films they make today are so, they're such graphic violence as well so i don't know what they're on about i just wanted to make sure that i covered most of the stuff Andrew Onwubolu, he's actually aka Rap Man on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel. If you want to look up about the film, there's a couple of trailers on there. It's called Blue Story. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, it is apparently in the cinemas now. So you are welcome to go to see it. See, I think the View Cinema. A reaction it was a reactionary response as opposed to a logical or a rational one i don't think they saw it through otherwise they would have pulled frozen because the, the, their patrons were the ones who were fighting so why didn't they pull that movie and also somebody was asking are they just pulling the blue story movie or every movie in that cinema what is the main reasoning behind pulling that particular movie is it because there was a fight inside the movie or inside the cinema for the people that was going to see it i really don't know the details but um the, f the good thing is is that it is actually um back in um the film opened on friday with the 22nd of february in 60 sites and apparently between the first 24 hours there were over 25 incidents they say significant incidents or in 16 separate cinemas but there's no evidence they the news well the people who have been viewing it or week you know following up on this say they can't find any evidence of the incidences so i don't know uh, but apparently 25 significant incidences in 16 separate cinemas is the reason why they decided to take that action um yeah, I think um, I've already said about um, the mass shooting that killed 12 people. Killed them, you know, in that Batman movie. Um, and this is just a little fight outside of a, a cinema. And they, they want to ban the whole thing all over the country. That's what I mean. It's a bit extreme. So, um, yeah. Do you think it's a racist act or do you think that the um, cinema is quite justified in pulling it from every country just because a little fight broke out in their cinema i'd like your views thank you very much bye bye